Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am going to do a quick kind of bonus video for you today and it's featuring the Urban Decay blush palette, the Gwen Stefani collaboration blush palette. Um, I will tell you that I also just filmed a Sephora haul that I'm going to put up after this. So I will have the same shirt and um, makeup on, but again, that happened last week and y'all will just forgive me because with a job and two kids, I film when I can. So, um, so again, this is the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani blush palette. I had, will say again in my Sephora video, I did not get the eyeshadow, eyeshadow palette. I have way too many eyeshadow palettes and I just felt like I didn't need it, but I needed this blush palette. So first let's talk about this beautiful packaging. It's white and gold. Um, it's got a metal kind of plaque plate right here on the front that just says Urban Decay Gwen Stefani. Oh, it's just so pretty. I love the white and gold. I think it just makes it look very elegant, but also edgy at the same time. So as you open it up and you've got six very beautiful colors, you have a blush color, you have a couple highlight colors or blush toppers. This is a blush or bronzer color and then some pink blushes. So I tried this on today for the first time. Honestly, I meant to use this bronzer color I feel like it's going to be more suited to my um, fair skin ladies. Sorry if I'm blinding with this mirror. Because it's not as dark um, as you would probably want it to if you have anywhere from like light to medium to medium to dark skin. Definitely would not work on dark skin, but it might be a pretty blush. So I'm going to go through and just really quickly, because I haven't seen any, many videos exclusively for this palette, and I wanted to get it up before it sold out because it is limited edition. Um, this palette is $45. Each pod or whatever has about 2.8 grams and there are six pods. So it comes out to almost 18 grams of product. So it's very good product. You know, the, the rate that most people use blushes and highlights and bronzers, this isn't really going to go away anytime soon, but it is very pretty. I think it's a great all-in-one palette for travel because um, it kind of hits all areas that you need. So I'm just going to go through real quick and I'm going to tell you the name. I'm going to do a close-up of it in the pan and then I'll do a close-up of it swatched on my hand. The first one we're going to talk about is OC right here. It is a very light orange. You can see it right there. Orangey coral blush. It is matte. It does not have any shimmer. This is actually what I have on my cheeks today. So again, it's just a very light wash of color. Right next to OC, we have the color Hush. This is a beautiful shimmery rose gold color. If you can see how it's catching the light, it is absolutely gorgeous. I cannot wait to wear that on my cheeks. That is my kind of blush right there. Right next to Hush, you have Lo-Fi or Lo-Fi. I want to say lo-fi. Color that could be used as a bronzer or a matte blush depending on your skin tone. See it has a nice, it's not too orange, has a nice um, just kind of neutral undertone. Again it would be a very pretty blush or bronzer depending on your skin tone. This is a matte color. Coming down to the pink blushes, this one is called Cherry. It is a baby pink color. It is mostly matte. It picks up a little bit of shimmer, but it definitely has no sparkle in it in the pan. It just gives off a nice sheen. So again, this color is cherry. Then we go next to cherry, and this color is easy. This blush would be absolutely beautiful on darker skin tones. It again has a nice sheen, but not an intense shimmer. It's not completely matte though. And it is a almost plum color with a, a little bit of rose undertones. It's absolutely beautiful. And again, it would be very pretty on light to medium skin tones with a light hand and a normal to heavy hand on darker skin tones. It would be absolutely beautiful. And then the last color right here is called Angel. This would be considered the highlight color of the palette. It's got a nice gold champagne undertone. It would also be beautiful as a blush topper on darker skin tones but it's just absolutely beautiful. It picks up the most beautiful light when you turn your head or your hand in this case. Again, that color is Angel. So that wraps up all the swatches of this beautiful blush palette. This retails for $45. I highly recommend this palette. Again, today I have on um, OC as a blush and then I have on Angel 
as a highlight and I will say I did not put any liquid highlight down like I normally do because I just wanted to see the effect of it and I think I don't know if it's showing on camera but it has a very nice kind of subtle glow so I think it'd be beautiful for brides as a highlight beautiful as a topper just this is a great all-around palette so I highly recommend it be sure and get it it's on the Urban Decay website it is on Sephora and I think it's on Ulta so I'll try to link it down below wherever I can find it Highly recommend this. Go get it if you can. Let me know what you think if you already have it. If you have any questions, be sure and like and subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps me out. Thanks again for watching and y'all have a very blessed day.